Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 15 from Grade 10 Science that is Chemical Reaction. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends and also don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Chemical Reaction a chemical reaction is a chemical change in which combination, decomposition, or exchange of molecules of matter takes place. The chemical reaction can be represented by using symbols of atoms and molecule formula of molecules. Factors affecting chemical reaction There are many factors which affect the rate of chemical reaction. Some of the important factors are given below. First one is symbol contact. When substances react with each other when brought in contact with each other, for example, when sodium is added to the jar containing chlorine, sodium chloride is formed. Similarly, when hydrogen gas is mixed with fluorine gas, hydrogen fluoride is obtained. 2Na plus Cl2 gives 2NaCl, S2 plus F2 gives 2HF. Next one is contact by solution. Many uh, reactions occur in the form of their aqueous solution. For example, sodium chloride, NaCl, and silver nitrate, AgNO3, do not react in their solid state. But when aqueous solution of these substances are mixed, they react to form precipitate of silver chloride, AgCl. That is, AgNO3 in aqueous uh, state plus NaCl aqueous gives uh, AgCl precipitate of AgCl plus NaNO3. Next one is it. It increases the rate of chemical reaction. It gives energy to the molecules of the reactants and make them collide with each other. And the collision between molecules brings about chemical reaction. For example, when calcium carbonate is heated, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide are formed. CaCO3 gives CaO plus CO2. Light. Some of the reaction takes place in the presence of light. For example, when silver bromide is exposed to sunlight, it decomposes to form silver and liquid bromine. Similarly, hydrogen and chlorine combine to form hydrochloric acid in the presence of sunlight. 2 AgBr in the presence of sunlight gives 2 Ag plus Br2. S2 plus Cl2 in the presence of sunlight gives 2 HCl. Next one is pressure. High pressure is a necessary condition for many chemical reactions. For example, nitrogen reacts with hydrogen under high pressure to give ammonia. N2 plus 3 H2 in the presence of uh, catalyst iron and promoter molybdenum at temperature of 4500 uh, degrees Celsius and 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure gives 2 NS3. Next one is electricity. Electricity brings both combination and decomposition reaction. When electricity is passed through acidified water, the water decomposes to form hydrogen and oxygen gas. 2H2O2 in the presence of electricity gives 2H2O plus O2. Similarly, when electric sharp is passed through a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, they unite to form water. 2H2O plus O2 uh, in the presence of electricity gives 2H2O. Types of chemical reaction. On the basis of type of reactant and products, chemical reaction are of following types. First one is a combination or addition reaction. Uh, addition and combination reaction, it is also known as the synthesis reaction. The chemical reaction in which two or more substances combine to form a new substance is called the combination reaction. Or we can say the chemical reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form only one product. For example, H2 plus O2 gives CSO, 2Na plus Cl2 gives 2NaCl, Fe plus Es gives FeS. Next one is decomposition or dissociation reaction. The chemical reaction in which compound decomposes into two or more simpler substances is called decomposition reaction. It is just the opposite of combination reaction. 
or decomposition reaction occurs due to heat, light, electricity, catalyst, etc. Example, by heat, heat decomposes oxide, carbonates, chloride, nitrates, etc. of metals, sometimes it uh, as well as catalysts are needed. 2 PbO2 gives, uh, in the presence of heat, when heated, gives 2 PbO plus O2. Similarly, CaCO3, when heated, gives CaO plus CO2. By electricity, electricity decomposes liquid or molten states of the compounds. 2H2O in the presence of electricity gives 2H2 plus O2. Uh, similarly, 2NaCl in the presence of electricity gives 2Na plus Cl2. Next one is by light. Silver bromide is decomposed to silver and bromine by light. 2AgBr in the presence of light gives 2Ag plus Br2. This reaction is useful in photography. Similarly, by catalyst, manganese dioxide acts as a positive catalyst in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. 2H2O2 in the presence of manganese dioxide gives H2O plus O2. Next one is displacement or replacement reaction. The chemical reaction in which an element or radical of a compound is replaced by another element or radical to form new compound is called displacement reaction. Generally, a more reactive element displaces or less reactive elements from its compounds. Displacement reaction can be divided into two types. First one is single displacement reaction and second one is double displacement reaction. Single displacement reaction. The chemical reaction in which an element from a compound element from a compound is replaced by another element to form a new compound is called single displacement reaction. For example, Zn plus H2SO4 gives Zn SO4 plus H2. This reaction is also the principal reaction for the lab preparation of hydrogen gas, yes, which we have discussed in class 9. Here zinc D displaces hydrogen from sulfuric acid. Next one is double displacement reaction. A chemical reaction in which two reacting compounds exchange corresponding elements or radicals to form new compound is called double displacement reaction. Such so reactions are, so, are shown by the ionic compounds in solution state. Example, AgNO3 plus NaCl gives NaNO3 plus AgCl. Similarly, 2 AgNO3 plus CaCl2 gives CaNO3 whole 2 plus 2 AgCl. Next one is acid based reaction, which is also known as the neutralization reaction. A chemical reaction in which an acid reacts with a base to form salt and water is called acid based reaction. This reaction is also called neutralization reaction because acid and base neutralize each other to form salts. A salt is general, uh, generally, a salt in general is a neutral compound. Example, HCl plus NaOH gives NaCl plus H2O. H2SO4 plus 2 NaOH gives Na2SO4 plus 2 H2O. Similarly, HNO3 plus KOH gives KNO3 plus H2O. So here is one question related with acid base reaction. Acid base reaction is called neutralization reaction. Why? As a result of acid-base reaction, salt and water are produced. Generally, salts are neutral. Therefore, acid-base reaction is called neutralization reaction. Rate of chemical reaction. The decrease in the concentration of reactants or the increase in the concentration of products per unit time is called the rate of chemical reaction or simply uh, reaction rate. The rate of different chemical reaction is different. Some reactions are fast whereas some reactions are slow. For example, the reaction between acid and base is fast whereas roasting of iron is a slow process. Thus, the change of the reactant to product per unit time in any chemical reaction is known as the rate of chemical reaction. At the initial stage of reaction, the concentration of reactant is maximum and the concentration of product is zero or as no product is formed at that time. When the reaction is starts, then the concentration goes on uh, the concentration of products goes on increasing and the concentration of reactants goes on decreasing. Thus, the concentration of both the reactants and products changes with the time during the course of chemical reaction.
the the rate of reaction is affected uh, mainly by four factors first one is temperature in general the increase in the temperature increases the rate of chemical reaction the increased temperature vibrates or moves the molecules of the reactants this makes the reacting molecules come close to each other rapidly if the molecules come closer they collide with each other quickly and the reaction become faster so here is one question related to this heat increases the rate of chemical reaction why it gives energy to the molecules of the reactants and make them collide with each other the collision between the molecules brings the chemical change faster next one is catalyst a catalyst is a chemical substance which alters the rate of chemical reaction but itself remain unchanged at the end of the reaction the process of changing the rate of chemical reaction by using the catalyst is known as the catalysis the catalyst which increases the rate of reaction is called positive catalyst example manganese dioxide uh, vanadium pentoxide iron etc for example manganese dioxide also acts as a positive catalyst in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide 2s2+2s2o2 2S2O2, in the presence of catalyst manganese dioxide gives 2s2o+o2 similarly the catalyst which decreases the rate of reaction is called negative catalyst example phosphoric acid glycerin gypsum etc 2s2o2 in the uh, presence of glycerin uh, gives 2s2o+o2 third one is pressure pressure mainly affects the chemical reaction of gaseous reactants the increased pressure improves the rate of reaction of gaseous reactants when gaseous reactants are mixed up for reaction the molecules are far apart from each other if the pressure is increased in the vessel containing gas molecules their volume decreases this makes molecules come closer and collide with each other rapidly the effective collision of such molecules result in products and the reaction becomes faster next one is surface area the greater surface area of reactant increases the rate of reaction the surface area increases if the solid reactants are crushed into their powder in powder form more molecules are exposed to the other reacting molecules the exposed molecules collide with each other and the reaction becomes faster further the reaction rate is enhanced if it if is it possible to use reactants in their solution phase information given by balanced chemical equation it represents the name of reactant and products also shows the exact amount of reactants and products represents the ratio of molecular weight of the reactants and products separately it can show the condition required for the chemical reaction like heat light catalyst etc it can show the type of chemical reaction there are some of the limitation of chemical react equation as well first one it does not show the physical state of reactants and products it does not show the rate of reaction it does not show the concentration of reactants and products it does not show the reversible and irreversible nature of the uh, reaction it does not show the exothermic and endothermic nature of the reaction as well importance of chemical reaction in daily life First one, chemical reaction helps in preparation of foods during photosynthesis. They helps in the production of fruits and seeds, use of nutrients and fertilizers for the healthy growth of growth and development. Similarly, uh, many chemical, uh, many important chemical reaction affects our daily lives as they come under metabolism, excretion, circulation, and respiration. Chemical reaction help to solve crimes and explain mysteries by analyzing blood and tissue samples. We respire in oxygen that gives us alive as it metabolizes food we eat, which is digested by a series of chemical reaction in our body. The energy released by the oxidation of food during the respiration can be used by our cells to carry out most of the chemical processes needed for life. Our nerve works by pumping uh, sodium and potassium across the membrane, which is due to chemical reaction. cooking eating seeing hearing exercising uh, initiate metabolism which is more or less a group of chemical reaction many medicine drugs insecticides fragrances compounds uh, dyes paints solvents fertilizer uh, plastic textile etc are useful to mankind they are manufactured using many chemical reactions 
So hydrogen peroxide is not stored in a transparent bottle. Why? Hydrogen peroxide is a chemical with a strong uh, uh, reactivity. Storing hydrogen peroxide is highly unstable and uh, slowly decomposes. As a result, hydrogen peroxide should be stored in an amber color or the opaque bottles that allow little or no light to penetrate uh, through it. By this, we have completed note of this unit chemical reaction. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any queries, drop the comment in the comment section. See you on the next video. Thank you.